see. escaped the clutches of a demented plastic surgeon who was trying to steal her face, and I'm really glad she did. Watch Castle Monday nights at 10 here on ABC. Please welcome Stana Kadic. <laughs> over the weekend? Is there anything? How did you find out? I was trying to figure it out. Well, no. you know what? I know everything. Yeah. It's very good to see you. How's life? Thank you. Really well, really good. well. I heard you, you've got a, like an initiative that you're working on right now. Yes. And what is that initiative? Um, I started a nonprofit four years ago called the Alternative Travel Project, ATP. And um, we're auctioning, thank you guys, we're auctioning for it to fundraise this week. And it starts up tonight. So I see. Yes. Now, when you see, you name something ATP, that's already the tennis thing, right? Isn't it already tennis? It's also, I think it's like also adenotriphosphate, which is a form of en energy. That, <laughs> like cellular energy. I'm not that smart. I just watch ESPN, yeah. So. This is like what uh, encouraging people to use jetpacks and um, close, yeah, time that travel. along with walking and cycling <laughs> and using the subway. So the idea is to encourage people to go car free for at least one day, um, but hopefully more. Car free for one day. Yes. A uh, uh, year. Yes. Okay. Even just that, because if everyone on the planet went car free for one day, you'd be saving all the work that one billion trees has to do on the planet. Right. Yeah. And if you don't care about trees or the earth, then, you know, you're cutting a lot of coronary disease and a lot of other health issues as well. That's true. Yes. That, unless you take the subway, which is probably you're going to catch something on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard you take the subway, though, right? I have taken the subway, yeah. Yeah, to the Emmys, correct? Yeah, I take, well, I've taken it a few. Sometimes when I go to games, I'll take the subway. It's nice, though, isn't it's it? Fine. It's fine. In L.A., it's very nice, yeah. yeah it's, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not against the subway. I just love my car so much because it's like... A magic little box I get into and... And you can decide everything inside of it. I can put the radio it. on and the climate yes. is controlled and... Uh, and nobody's like bugging you and asking you well, for this I wouldn't or that. Say that. Selling flowers. Yeah. No, okay, so they there are, are sometimes in selling there. flowers Got on it. the corners and then, so then there's a baby screaming in the back. Got it. Yeah, and sometimes there's my wife telling me to stop playing the harmonica and so things like that. You're, you're playing the harmonica while driving. Yes, I do, yes. Oh, okay, well... Yes, yes, I like to live on the edge. Yes. <laughs> Do you take the subway to work? I do, actually. Yeah, I do it like at least once a week. Really? And yeah. do people don't people no, grab nothing, you and stuff? Nothing. Nobody like ever. Re nobody ever says anything. I don't think they even know. You know. I think maybe people. They probably don't care. They're probably like whatever. Or Roger. maybe they don't have television. <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> I, I, would, I mean, I would think they would recognize you. The show is very popular. I, I, I really believe that the thing is, is that people don't actually expect the person on their television to be riding the bus next to them. Ah, yes. Yeah. I see. I got you. So, yeah, if they saw you walking through, uh, like, a hotel in Las Vegas, they'd say, oh, there's Donna Caddick oh, in the subway. Like, oh, that can't possibly be right. No one in their right mind would get on a subway if they have a television. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the assumption is, is that you just you just ride your you know you take your your, your Jaguar or something like that. To what work. are you auctioning off? What are you um, uh, selling with your car? Close. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was um, I've told this story before. Actually, I think on your show uh -huh. um, there was a shirt that I wore for our test for the pilot of Castle. I remember this story. And um, I. I, it was a tunic top, and I didn't have time to get the right size shirt. I thought I could tuck it in. I thought it would be okay, and it wasn't. And so I grabbed some scissors, and I went out to the lobby to look for somebody to help me with this shirt. And um, Nathan, my co-star, was there getting a coffee, mm -hmm. and he helped me cut he it. He said, would you mind cutting my dress off? And he did it. And he said... He did it. <laughs> and the producer saw it, and I was like, <laughs> I joke that that's how I got the job. So there you go. Yes. Well, it didn't hurt. So you're auctioning that shirt off? That, yeah. And a oh. bunch of other kind of like mementos. Like we were in um, New York to film the pilot and um, we ended up at a Duran Duran concert. And so he signed the ticket and I've signed the ticket. You saved the tickets that. from that concert. <laughs> Sounds Are so you a hoarder? No, I'm not. This <laughs> <laughs> is the seventh season now. I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> are there uh, are there any murderers left to find? I mean, it seems like you guys have rounded up all of them. I, you know, I'm I'm hoping we get to interrogate a mime soon. Oh, that would be great. Yes, but, but right now we're in the middle of Mars. So next week we'll be uh, researching a murder in Mars. There's like an Elon Muskish character who is trying to send a mission to Mars, and somebody dies, and that was fun. We get to dress up in like spacesuits. Well, there's one we've definitely never seen yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> murder on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> and th is a space shuttle, is that an acceptable form? Like, could we take that to work? Would that be all right with Absolutely. the ATP? Absolutely. <laughs> How can people get in on this auction? We're, so we're on um, we're on eBay, and you have to just look it up under Alt uh, Travel Project, and oh. you'll find all of the items that are available that's a, there. Well, that's good. That's, yeah. um, you know, I'm glad somebody's doing something. Well, I'm tr certainly not. Truly. <laughs> Truly, I genuinely feel like um, Los Angeles is uh, the media capital of the planet, and some of the stuff and stories that we tell here affect the rest of the planet. And I had an experience where there was a group in Romania who decided to go car free on Fridays, and because of that, teachers and uh, adults that were participating in the project met on the bus and eventually they got married and they have children now um, and so there's some really wonderful stories that happen out of a project like this oh yeah yeah I hope they don't get divorced because then that story has that would suck yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good to see you Sonic Cadig everybody Castle.